How's it going everyone? Oh, Pokemon TCG here, and you're probably wondering why the camera's a little shaky. I have to actually hold my tablet away from my desk just to show you guys this whole thing. I really want to show you guys how big this thing truly is. Look at the size of this thing. It is nuts. So this is the Mew and Mewtwo. I'm done now, but you won't be able to see the whole thing. Mew and Mewtwo Super Premium Collection. So it has like 10 generations packs. Obviously you guys can see the two full arts, which are textured by the way, absolutely crazy. We got the Mewtwo and Mew figure and then the art book in the back. I'm not sure if there's anything else that comes with it. Not sure if there's like deck sleeves or anything, but let's see if we can get this baby open after I find my knife. Uh, hang on, give me one second. All right, we got the trusty knife. Kind of just want to I don't know where to start opening this thing. I really want to keep the box in good shape. So, I don't want to, like, just tear apart the box. Because the box is, like, the quality of an Elite Trainer box. Like, it, it's very, very nice. This is, like, the first true collector's item that I've bought from Pokemon, I think. This is, I mean, it's $80. $79.99. And right now, I believe... Well, at least at the time of me recording this, it is Barnes & Noble's exclusive. So, I don't think I've ever seen anything Barnes & Noble's exclusive. I think i got to take the lid off to get this front part off. Let me see if I can... I guess that doesn't come off. Oh, yeah, it comes off. Alright, so here's like a clean shot of what the front... Oh, gosh, you can't see it. Let me move the camera back. Hang on. A clean shot of what the front looks like without the front, like, wrapping thing. I don't know if I'm going to keep that on. I might keep it on, um, the wrapping I'm talking about. But, I mean, it's, like, such quality. So it has, like, the inserts. You guys can see, like, the same kind of inserts as an Elite Trainer box. So it's pretty similar. It's definitely that kind of quality. Wow, this has some amazing stuff in it. Hang on. There's, like, cards falling everywhere. All right. I don't know if there's a code in here or not. It Actually, there is a code. So let me get the code out, and I will show you guys everything else that is in it. But there is a code, and it just says Super Premium Collection. So, let me see if I can move the box out of the way. That way we can unpackage this one thing at a time. Alright, so let me get this back on screen. So this is what is inside it. So you have your pack of, like, um, deck box, like, inserts that to separate your decks. So you got those. You got the amazing Mew and Mewtwo figure. Let me see if I can focus in on that. Oh, gosh. Oh man, that looks so cool. It's not focused on it. There we go. Look at that, baby. <laughs> Mew is like a bullet. I don't know where Mew is off to, but that thing is so cool. We'll set that back there. All right, now these guys. Oh man. Holy crap. So let's appreciate it out of a sleeve first. Holy crap. So I do believe these are reprints from the black and white series so this is I actually want to put these guys in like actual deck sleeves let me see if I can like those are deck sleeves but they aren't like Pokemon deck sleeves I want to see if I have any Pokemon deck sleeves you know what let me get uh my generation the ones from the generations elite trainer box these are from the generations elite trainer box I haven't even opened them yet but these cards definitely deserve sleeves like this especially in a premium collection box with 10 generations packs so let's put this guy right in the sleeve oh yes full art mewtwo ex very very nice probably i mean these are probably my favorite promos that i've ever owned not gonna lie these are the most well-designed promos i've ever seen in my life so this one like i said from this one um this the mewtwo is a reprint from next destinies and also i think a promo and then mew ex is a reprint from dragons exalted and radiant collection so it is the same Mew, and it is back in Standard. If you guys play competitively, you can use both of these cards in Standard once again. So those cards will probably be pretty sought after. And it also comes with, we got five Generations packs on that side, and five packs on that side. So we're going to save the packs for last. So we'll set them back there. I actually have a bay leaf from our MLPB. Still don't know if we won that as I'm recording this actually right after and the Electabuzz is still back there too So we'll take him away that way you guys can see my beautiful Charizard But let's see what else is in this thing So I'm, I don't really can't really show you guys like how it's packaged. It just can't fit it on the screen But we have the illustration collection 
trading card game. So now I can't really show you guys, I might be able to show you guys like glimpses, but I don't think I can show you guys like a lot of it because I'll get like copy copyright stricken or whatever you want to call it. I did look it up because I, in the, I first off wanted to go through every single page and show you guys everything in this book, but I can't do that. I really want to because it, it that is what our channel is based off of the TCG. So I really, really want to show you guys like what's in here because not only is it cool, it's like history. So let me get out of this wrapping and it's taking forever. Sorry about that. So I can give you guys a look at the front and I can like flip through it. So it shows you, you can see like how they designed all of the cards and everything. It looks very, very cool. I'm definitely going to read this entire book, probably like over the weekend. But look at that ladybug. Oh, oh. But this is pretty much all I can show you guys. I can't really read anything from it because it will get copywritten. So it actually feels like, oh, it's like a cover. Oh, hello. Hello. That looks so cool. I'm going to put the cover back on though so we keep it in good shape. But, I mean, this is definitely, I'm, <sighs> that makes it worthwhile by itself in my opinion. I mean, there's not many places where you can get info on the history of Pokemon cards. Holy crap, these look amazing. Alright, so the last thing in the box. I'll set these guys up and then I'll move the camera back so you guys can see them. Are Generations Elite Trainer Boxes, practically. But there's nothing in them. It's just like deck boxes. Look at them. Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. It's going to be a little shaky so I can show you guys. But it's basically an Elite Trainer Box. Actually, I have one right here. And it's longer. You can see it's like sticking out. Definitely longer than an Elite Trainer box by maybe an inch or two. Oh, now my Charizard's upside down. Sorry about the shaky camera. I do have to hold it for these things are enormous. But they have the generations on the side. And it kind of like wraps around the art. I think they are very, very cool. Definitely will be keeping those guys and maybe storing some of my better cards in them. So let me get those off screen. And last but not least, we will open up the 10 Generations Packs. That is plenty of packs to get some good pulls. Maybe a Mega Charizard. Who knows? I've seen like pretty much everyone like f that are my friends that have opened this thing have gotten a Jolteon EX. I think I've seen four of them. So very, very odd. Obviously not a guaranteed pool or anything, but who knows? We'll see. Now, I think I want to do three. I still want to do three. That's going to bring the first Radiant Collection card to the front. Let me move my lamp just a little bit. There we go. And I can move my camera down. We start off with a Charmeleon. Let me get the focus. Shauna. Clement. Ponyta. So another thing we're looking for is at least one reverse energy. I really don't have a lot of them, and I absolutely love them. We get Machoke, a Meowstic, and a Dodrio. So nothing in our first pack, but that is quite all right, because we got nine packs to go. It's... I don't know. I'm, I'm actually digging this. I, I really like this whole premium collection thing. I wish they would do one for every set because I honestly would buy it every single time. <laughs> Those promos make the entire box. I love it so much. Magikarp, Tangela, a reverse Zubat, a Dedenne, another dud pack. So two dud generations packs in a row. That doesn't happen very often. Usually you get some decent pulls from Generations, because, I mean, there's like a pool in every pack, it feels like. Alright. So we got Chikorita, Evo Soda, Shauna, Zubat, come on, Reverse Energy. Give us a Reverse Energy. Hey! hey, hey. Holy crap, we kind of called that. Just saying. We got a, rev oh yes, and a Charizard. A Reverse Hollow Energy, a Charizard, and a Mega Blastoise EX. Oh man, that was a good pack. A Charizard, Reverse Energy, and a Mega Blastoise. As you guys know, we've opened up tons of generations on the channel. So, I wouldn't blame you guys if you're kind of sick of seeing generations. Trust me, even I'm sick of seeing generations. But, I mean, Mega Blastoise, you don't see that very often. The, usually, uh... You don't see the actual Generations EXs very often, but we got Snow Runt, Revitalizer, Metapod, Geodude, Fire Energy, and we did get the one Reverse Hollow Energy, like I really, really wanted, so happy with that. Meowstic, and a... What? Right after a Mega Blastoise, we pull a Mega Venusaur EX. Nice. 
That is so cool. Maybe that means the next pack, dude, if we pull a Mega Charizard in this pack, I hope you guys know I'm flipping the heck out. There's no way we pull all three Mega Kanto starters in a row. That would be bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. All right. We got a Swablu to start us off. Haunter. Cloyster. Machop. Slowpoke. Lightning Energy. Krabby. A Reverse Mr. Mime. <gasps> Ooh, and a Full Art Mega Gardevoir EX. And a Hollow Golem. Not even bad. Let me uh, let me sleeve up the Mega Gardevoir. And we will also Penny Sleeve the Golem. You know what? Let me Penny Sleeve the other two here. Also while we're at it. Because I should have done those in the beginning. You guys tell me all the time to sleeve the cards I like. So I will make sure I listen to you guys. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. If it's going to go up the day after the Horde. I mean, I don't want to like overload you guys with videos all at once. I want to give you guys time to watch the Horde. So it'll probably be a week after the Horde. I mean, you guys will know when this goes up because you're watching it. But I'm kind of just talking to myself about that. We got a Floral Crown. Persian. Energy Switch. Zubat, Tangela, Fire Energy, Ghastly, a Reverse Rhyhorn, a Swirlix, and a Meowstic EX. Oh man, our pools are nuts right now. What's that? That's four. So we're four for six, I think, because we're four in a row right now, actually. Our first two were duds, and then I think our next, next four were... Oh wait, yeah, the first two were duds, and our next four were pools, because we have four packs left, so that makes sense. Dang, so we're on a four streak. Man, I just cannot get the cards out of this pack. There we go. Alrighty. We got a Gulpin. Shauna, wait, wait. Rhyhorn, you don't belong on that pile. Shauna, Persian, Slowpoke, Steel Energy, Shelter, Doduo, a Reverse Double Colorless Energy, a Frostlass, and a Hitmonchan. Broke the streak. We broke the streak. I don't count double colorless energies as reverse energies because you can get double colorless energies in other sets too but this is the only set recent set i should say it's the only recent set with hollow energies so that's why they're so wanted we got crushing hammer pokeball caterpie crabby darkness energy geodude a reverse raichu that is a rare a jirachi and a regular rare tauros so we got two more packs hopefully we can pull at least one more thing I mean, even if we pulled the Mega Charizard, I doubt anyone's ever pulled all three Mega Kanto starters in, like, the same generation's opening, like, same sealed product. Now, this is, this does have, um, the most generations packs in one product. So, if you want to open a lot of generations, then this is totally for you. We got a Frostlass and a regular rare Gyarados. Hopefully, our last pack has a goodie. But, I'm pretty sure this is the most, the Elite Trainer box had Eight, I think it was eight. Um, I'm pretty sure it was eight. Maybe it was ten. I don't know. I can't remember. Shauna, Krabby, Ghastly, Meowth. Oh no, Slowpoke. Skipping. Graveler. A full art Pikachu. Yes, and a Venusaur EX. Our last pack came through, baby. It came through. Oh man, that was a great pack. I don't know if that trumps our other pack though, because I think the Reverse Energy. Um, what did we get? Charizard and then Mega Blastoise kind of beats it. But our pools for the box, we got a Pikachu, Full Art, Venusaur EX, Meowstic EX, Golem Hollow, Charizard Hollow, Lightning Energy Hollow, Mega Gardevoir EX Full Art, Mega Venusaur EX, and Mega Blastoise EX for a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6! So we got six Ultra Rares out of ten packs. I told you guys, Generations is nuts when it comes to pool ratio. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this epic video. <laughs> this is probably the f my favorite thing in recent memory that I've opened other than the Horde. Like, sealed product. Like, I don't know how to explain it. The Horde is different. That is on its own level. 658 packs. Nothing can compare to that. I think the highest I've ever seen on YouTube, was, other than my videos, were 500, and those were like all Dollar Tree packs. So, I, I don't know if there's anything that really compares to it, <laughs> in my opinion, but we'll take a quick look at the Fool Arts one more time, as they are so glorious. Holy crap. 
I know um, on our eBay site, we actually had three of the Radiant Collection Full Art Muse for sale. And they were kind of on, they were on there for a week or two. And um, as soon as this released, they all sold within like 24 hours. So it was absolutely nuts how much people like pay attention and know what's coming out and to use in standard. But I, I don't even know. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video.